As but a simple Comez of Seleucia, Leon's opportunity to project power through military means simply did not exist. Instead, there was a focus on schemes, on intrigue and plays for power that happened within the dimly lit chambers of the land. To be known is to require action. That is when he led the Liberty Faction to reduce the authority of Emperor Basil, which he agreed to. Surprisingly, a friendship with him was formed soon after, but wine can do stranger things to men, of course. To the east, an emir named Muhammad controlled the lands of Kilikab, and even the holy site of Antioch. He was backed by the young caliph Al-Mutaz bin Al-Mutakwakil. Before Leon decided to wage a war against the entire caliphate, he kidnapped the emir and through the anger of Al-Mutaz's court was able to find co-conspirators to help him kidnap the powerful leader. At the beginning of the war, not a single drop of blood was spilled. Before the Islamic army could move, word was spread of Al-Mutaz's capture. In exchange for his safety, Kilakia was liberated from Islamic rule. Antioch has been taken, though a Greek Comes holds on to it a traitor to his people who has converted to the Eastern ways. In time, he shall be removed. Now it is time for the first Eastern Roman Senate, where you, esteemed patriarchs and other powerful individuals, give your input on the state of affairs. It's true what you say, that we should reclaim Antioch and become the Emperor's spymaster, but Basilius is a friend and that is a powerful tool to use as leverage. We will see what strides we can make in that field. An ordained priest also comes to us wishing nothing more than unity and the reclamation of what is beholden to God. Antioch is just the beginning, I can assure you of that. The road to the holy sites must be paved with assurances of safety for those who follow the faith. There's talk of creating a kingdom, something to stand outside the themes of our people. Such an act would defy the emperor, but we are so far from the capital. Prying eyes can only see so much if we were left to our own devices. In fact, it may be a feat we should aim towards, especially since we are the border guard against the encroachment of the eastern kingdoms. Now it's time to continue our legend. We do have many goals right now. One of them right now is to gain more prestige and power. I don't need to upend the entire system. I don't need to become emperor right away. In fact, I would like to have some time where I'm not the emperor. I don't want to be responsible for every single individual here. Not yet. I'm sure down the line, some child of mine might have further ambitions, but mine, mine are really coming to a head. I'm currently 47 years old. I was born on January 1st of 830. Now, there are some lands I do want under my command. Once I pass, who knows what might happen. Hopefully, my heir over here, Mikiforos Fokas, hopefully he'll get most of it. I think he shall. Now, I do want Nicosia right over on Cyprus. If I could conquer these two locations, that would bring me a measure of joy. I would also like to get a hook on our leader, on my friend, but also my leader. If I do that, then maybe I could get a spot on his council. If I get a spot on his council, I'll get some nice benefits, and naturally, that would give you some prestige internationally. We've got so many people who would say, hey, look, that's the spy master or marshal for the Basilius, which to me sounds like a pretty good goal right now. We have a look at things. There's a pretty decent amount of peace in my lands currently. I'm trying to convert anything that is under my command to our orthodox faith that is what we need and we've got to convert what's over here in antioch i don't know if i'll be getting the holy hand grenade but i would like to have marshal per level of devotion plus one and also our knights would be a little bit more effective we do have one count one comes over here who is not loyal i don't trust him nor do i like him he's my age and he's rather powerful 421 men i need to get rid of him now, I'm only a duke. I'm only a duke right now. Over here, I could create the Duchy of Antioch, but I would worry about some other child getting that title. So, who knows? Maybe I'll do it. Though, I would need a lot of money for that. 250 gold. I also want to promote some growth in my lands right now. I've got what I need, though eventually I would like to move my capital further inland. That way it's not coastal. Coastal regions can be easy to attack. But over here, I'm currently building a small harbor, providing 0.3 to my taxation per month and providing a bit more development. I could build tall. I could develop my lands and become rather lucrative. Over here, we have only seven development and you can see that there are 100 levels total. I'm about to access another bit of growth and that will help me get more levies, more taxes and a bigger supply limit here. Supply limits are important if you want to move a bunch of troops through. And if you look at it, We've got over 4,000 for our supply limit. 
in our previous campaign, we were up here to the north and we had like 1,500, maybe 2,000 from time to time. So moving large armies was rather challenging. And over here, we have a very prominent power to the east. They could easily fight me. They could easily fend me off. So I've got to consider how I'm going to get around him. He's only 30 years old. He's a lusty fellow. And he's going to be causing a lot of issues, I bet. I have a feeling that his rule is not truly stable. If we have a look right now, many of his vassals do not care for him at all. Look at that. 37 minus 52. I mean, these are all very powerful people. There's like, what, one person over here who actually likes him? Well, good for you, buddy. That's a pretty good start. Now, let's have a look. I could imprison my former lover. I'm not going to do that. That feels wrong, so I'm not going to do that. We've got a few smart children around here. I've gotten pretty much everyone in my court married. I love doing that. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I've got also a couple of kids over here. Here's my grandchild, Leon Focas, named after me. Very nice. He's feeling better, thankfully. And we have my two daughters. Now, my wife is pregnant. She's going to have a third child. Hopefully another daughter. I just want an army of daughters so that I can conquer the world through daughter marriage. And we'll see where we go from there. But I would like to get Cyprus. So I think what I'm going to do after currently my bishop is done converting, we're going to get a claim down here. Let's have a look at him. Hello, Gomez. So you've got what? No allies. Only 225 men. You've got quite a few kids. You're not very good in combat, nor is your child. He's one elusive shadow. But beyond that, no one here really concerns me. Now, they should be of our faith. Oh, yeah, they're Greek. They're Greek, and they are part of the orthodoxy, which is what I need. Over here, they're part of the Asharism. Now, I need to get rid of them, too. But I'll have to figure that out. We'll have to find a way to fight him alone without having to incur the wrath of his ruler. So... I'll be patient. I'll be patient and see what I can do in time. Well, look at that. Another daughter. That's perfect for me. Daughters are what I want. Daughters are what I need. And I don't really need too many more kids. I've got my son as long as he does not die. Now, I can't guarantee that. I'm going to let him fight because I'm not going to let him be a coward. If he wants to fight out there and become strong, let him do so. Gabriella. That's what we're going to name you. Perfect. All right. I have my child. We're about to convert one location. We're getting control all together thanks to my marshal he's not a huge fan but he also doesn't really hate me either so that's a really nice thing now you're helping me out good you should be currently i'm trying to get a nice little favor from our basilius again i want to modify my contract and the war he's fighting is currently going very very well oh look at that battle that's a big one well good luck to all of you yeah, get out of here. Get out of our capital. You can't have it. All right, control county task completed. Let's move you down over here. It won't take them very long, only half a year. That's what I'm currently working on. We now have more development over in my capital. And good, that war is over. Now we're stronger for it. But right over here is where we have eight development now. Which means that if I keep on working on that and I'm able to increase it a bit faster, oh, the power that we could have. We're going up to four speed right now, and it looks like we can convert even more people. Good, good. All right. That's before I get anything new, like a claim. Three years to convert over in Antioch. You know what? I should do that first before I try to move on because we need these people to convert. Then, after I get my hook... I'm going to come after him, that Count of Antioch, that traitor. He should be orthodox, but he's not, and he hates me a lot. He could cause a lot of issues. He wants a seat on my council, though he hates me. What a drama queen. And hopefully in time, I'll be able to become a spy master, because if you look at it, I've got 24 for intrigue. He should make me one. I'm much better. His council is actually not very good, and he's married to Miss Piggy. She's rather frightening. You can't forget that I was trying to also... Maintain my influence and power over the Countess Aisha, the wife of that Count who is opposing me. Now, I could relinquish my hook on her. Then she would find evidence of one of his secrets. I do like that idea. I could gain dread, only 12 dread. No, give me that secret. A 2% chance for that slander to be discovered. And I'll gain 100 intrigue lifestyle experience too. Very well. And someone is trying to kill my wife. I wonder who's trying to do that. I need to find out. 
secrecy. Hmm. She could find no incriminating information. All right, that's fine. It was a good thing I had prepared it myself. All of a sudden, Rustam seems to be beset by foul rumors, and I happen to hold all the evidence for them. Strange. So, what do we have over here? The blackmail. I do like the idea of getting some blackmail on him. It's a strong hook, too. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted from him. So have a look at that. He's in trouble now. I've got everything that I need on that guy. So what am I going to do to him? I suppose I could revoke his title. Oh, he won't agree? Now he shall. Perfect. There's no title for him anymore. To the cold-hearted Leon. I see no choice but to bow to your decision to strip you of your title. <laughs> All right. I've got over 1,000 men, but I don't need to hold on to that many domains. I'll have to find someone truly valuable and powerful. It could even be my son here. I could say, my son, go have power. Do what you want. I'm probably not going to do that. I might even give it to someone who has a claim. I'll have to see in time. I've got to look. Oh, twice schemed. I can have two hostile schemes. Now, I also want to one day have a lot of money. If I have a lot of money and I invest my lands now... Here's what I could do over here. I could demand payment for hooks. I could do a whole bunch of things over here where I could extort people. I could just focus on making a lot of money. And the idea does really appeal to me because I would like to really upgrade what we have for future generations. I want to think about the long term. I'm currently 48. I'm not going to be here forever. But our house is growing. We are doing well. My son is doing well. And I suppose I should eventually give him a job. I'll consider it. To the north of my lands, you have one area called Cappadocia. And that older leader of theirs, Alexius, has two sons, two adult sons. One would be the heir. The other one is the brother too. I would like for him to join my court. I feel like if he joins my court and I give him land, I could really use that to my benefit. And that would be nice. What's over here? His sister has been rather forthcoming. All right, let's have a look then. I'll gain familiar weakness. We'll have a higher chance to complete our scheme. I can have up to two hostile schemes now, which really does work to my benefit. I'm able to potentially get a hook on our Basilius and over here on Tiberius. Someone is trying to murder my wife. It's got to be her rival. It's got to be her, which means I'm going to have her killed in time. You can't just come over here and try to take out my wife. And we'll see what will happen in time. I mean, if we have a look at it, my wife and I, we're very talented. There's a very low chance for that scheme to ever work out. But there is a chance. It doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means it's very hard. A bunch of neighboring areas over here are engaging in a lot of blood sport. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lykia has been rebelling quite a bit. You're going to lose a lot, man, if you keep on pushing. They outnumber you. But good luck. I'm not here to help you out, so good luck. <laughs> we have now found one conspirator. He's right over here, Hishkan. I want to put him in jail. Enjoy your time here. Now, what am I going to do? I could just torture him. No, that would be wrong. Instead, I'm going to blind him. I'll gain 12 dread. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. The jailer drags a panicked Ishkan into the room. Please, I will do anything, anything you want. His protests are cut short as a jailer gangs him and ties him down on the table. Oh, Ishkan, I sigh theatrically. You and I never quite saw eye to eye. But on the bright side, I have finally decided on how to rectify the situation. Emir Muhammad had really the right idea by fleeing these lands and staying far away from me. Now he's blind and free. You should not have done that. Good luck to you, though. Have fun out there, being blind. And not seeing. Oh no, my friend, what have you done? Why are you naked? A compromising situation. Everyone gets naked sometimes. The hard part is ensuring that the troop of jugglers enter his chambers at just the right time and that there are enough servants around to speculate about the ensuing chaos. I suspect that he will do anything to prevent me from sticking the flames of the following rumors. Send in the entertainers. If I do that, I'll spend 150 prestige, but I'll gain a hook on him. Yeah, let's do that. It's perfect. I can't believe it. It worked. 
He's not mad at me. That's good. And by the way, he's freaking jacked. No wonder. He's very strong. And here's what I wanted the entire time. I can only change one thing according to my contract here. If I try anything else, I won't be able to modify it. But now I have council rights guaranteed. The demand council position interaction can be used at will. Great. Done. Now let's have a chat with him real quick. Oh, he's busy fighting. He's very far from home too. What is over here? Demand council position. I like that. All right, let's have a look. Spy master. Perfect. That's the one I really want. So I'll take it. I'll get natural dread. Hostile scheme power up by 20. Plus 8 to my scheme success chance. And 20% more intrigue lifestyle experience. I cannot be fired for 25 years. So now, through having my leader become nude at the wrong time, I have become the Empire Spy Master. I'm a bit more powerful. Let's have a look at that. I'm right over here. Look at me. 25 intrigue. Not only that, I'm a very good Spy Master. I'm much better than who he had. I have more than twice his skill. So that is a really great benefit to have. And now we can probably get a lot more done. My plots are going to be very easy to carry out for quite some time. Over here, I had my plot to get a hook on that young man exposed, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, you're the primary heir. If I were to take you over to my side and I were to get rid of that heir, I wonder what would happen next. Yeah, I would like to experiment a bit. Oh my god. What an incredible event. A word of advice. It is not the first time I've heard talk of what a great servant Leon is. And now Vasilius has sent him to my court. He presents himself as a token of the friendship between the two of us. Look at that. I don't even have to kidnap him or get a hook. He's just here now. Welcome to my service. I mean, what a great boon for me. What am I going to do with you? I have no idea yet, but you're in my court. I could grant you a title. You could just wait here. You could be calm and I might do that. I might either give him a title or I could have him marry one of my kids. Sure, he would be a bit older, but that would be okay. You're 10. You're bound to be married. You're only four, so you're very young, unfortunately. Yeah, he would need to wait a very long time for a marriage to happen, but I like the idea of doing that. I mean, if I can just get him to stay with me, to be part of my lands. We would be pretty well off, I think. So I'm gonna think about what I wanna do with him, but for now, I'm gonna keep him in the court. And maybe when one of the girls are a little bit older, then we can work things out. But I can't believe you just gave me that tool. I mean, <clears throat> that token of our friendship, Basilius. I do thank you for that. What's over here? Mayor Isidoros likes me more. Thank you. My wife is quite helpful. I mean, her skills when it comes to intrigue are rather incredible. She's very strong. We've got three children. If I could have another daughter, that would be great, though. More daughters, more power. The prince is going to marry my daughter. He'll be a bit older by the time they're married, but it'll give me more influence and power. I do like the idea of our two dynasties commingling. Now, what do we have over here? I am trying to take a man's son away. As you might remember, I told you I want Cyprus, and I would like to limit his power, so I'm going to kidnap his sons. All of them. I'll try to anyway. It might not work out, but we're going to see very soon. There we go. I got him. He's here. And I'll leave him in my prison for now. or under house arrest. I don't want him to die. That would be awful. I could let you go and recruit you. Then you would be in my court. Now that would be good too, but let's leave you right in there. I've got one of your sons, but what about two sons? Let's get him as well. Let's have a look over here at my plots. I'm still trying to get a good hook on Tiberius. I've gotten a few, but they want me to spend prestige. And if it pops up again, I'll do it again. Oh, good. Control is up. Have a look over here. You'll work on trained commanders for now. I've got 1,300 men that I could lead into battle. Not bad. We still have yet to spill blood through brutal warfare, which I'm okay with. That'll come one day. For now, we're going to focus on plotting and all of that. Ooh, what's over here? A peasant revolt. Good luck. I think he'll be okay. His armies are probably just very far away right now. Look at all the fighting happening nearby. What's happening elsewhere? Rencia. You're largely okay. Astorias, you're trying to survive. That's good. And what about you, Caliph? 
you're very young, still very bad at diplomacy. You're very good at intrigue, which is probably a good choice considering I did kidnap you, <laughs> idiot. And you want to marry a young girl. She's only 12. Oh, she's an imbecile. Boy, you're making a bunch of good choices. <laughs> good luck to them. I don't believe they're going to be as large as they are for very long. I mean, they're fighting, what, four wars? They're losing three so far. It's bound to get very bad for all of them over here. I want to feel bad for them, but it's kind of funny. All right, let's go back to plotting. I'm not really sure why people keep getting naked, but I'm going to do it. I've got the prestige for it. I've got a strong hook on him. Why don't you come on over? I can recruit him to my court. I don't need to kidnap him. Find a court. Here we go. Now he's over here, and I could give you some land. I've got one county for you. Enjoy. So now he's a vassal of mine, and he's got three claims over here. What an interesting predicament. Wonder what might happen later. I mean, we've got claims. We've got a lot of claims I could press. I don't have the proper stuff I need for that. I would need 750 prestige total in order to actually declare war, but now I've got a nice hook on a new duchy right over in Cappadocia. Though currently I'm trying to work on what's done over here in Cyprus. Now you're maimed. I've got one of your boys. I'm trying to get a few more. Slowly but surely I'm getting a lot of power. I'm also improving my capital heavily. I'm building over here guild halls. And over here in my temple holding, I'm building a small harbor again. Everything I get, I wanted to improve my development because in the long term, that's going to benefit me the most. And I'll continue to spend money on what I have. I don't need to expand immediately in order to have power. If I take my time, I could really have a very lucrative province, then gain more power. Yeah, I was able to do that because my steward here gave me a nice windfall of 85 gold. I mean, the guy has pretty decent skills, 17. Not bad at all. And the really cool part is, too, most of them were not nobles in any capacity. They were lowborn, but they followed me. They followed me, and they were rewarded. So now they have titles. They're barons, they're mayors, and all of that. And really, my only concern right now is that the old count over here has been maimed. He's not going to live for too much longer. At 49, when you're maimed, you're not going to have a long, full life. I mean, maybe, but it's not very likely. If he dies, his son over here, who I've captured, would be set free automatically. I would miss out on a lot of money. And what's happening over here? Abduction scheme gains informants. That gives me more power, a little bit less secrecy. You know what? Do it. Do it now. And I should make some money. I think I want a lot of money right now. I'm not going to kill him. That would be rude. <laughs> My bad, buddy. I kidnapped your son and somehow he died. I don't know how that played out, but it just kind of did. Yeah, once I get my two claims over here, we'll move in. It might be our first battle, who knows? 50 gold. Look at that, 161. I'm at 4.9 right now. And if I want to spend my piety, which I do, I could get even more gold. Let's do it. It's all about improving our capital today. Thank you, Daniel. I mean, Patriarch Daniel. Now, I'm going to build over here farms and fields because our people need to eat. Farms and fields are the backbones of any economy. Fielding man, beast, army, and feast. Thank you, Grain. I appreciate you. That'll be done in 884, then I'll get half of a full point of gold. That's incredibly high. What now? Joven. You're scheming against my bishop? I don't care. I like Joven. I do like my bishop, but Joven's been a great loyal guy. And he's a great warrior. I'm not going to let him go. I'm just not going to do it right now. Now, what else do we have over here? What else do you have? I'm very curious about that. You've got a very powerful vassal. He's a decent commander at 21 Marshall. Yeah, I think I want to capture him too. Let's try to do that. Done. And here we go. Let's capture the boy. So, whenever your father dies... That could be soon. Then I could ransom you off for a bit more money. I do like that idea. Right now, he'll only pay me 10 gold. 10 gold is way too little. I'm not doing that. What about you, young kid? I do want to kidnap him. You know what? We're going to try it out. 
If it gets too bad, I'll leave it alone. There's no one over here who's willing to help me. That's really unfortunate. I could, like, recruit that powerful vassal over here, that mayor. I could let him go for a small favor, then force him to help me. But I would rather get more money or to just even keep him out of the way. Getting rid of a few of his more powerful warriors would only benefit me if I were to try to fight him. I don't want to lose too many men if I've got to invade. So I'm trying to be rather careful here. Yeah, I know. 10 gold is just not going to do it, though. Look at that. Leon Macadon. Don't you die on me. I don't care if you're ill. You're going to get better and feel better. Come on now. All right. So we have a competent steward over here. My court. I don't really need him. He's not too bad, but I've got a better steward right now. And if I need a new one, I'll go find a new one. Good job, my bishop. So now we need to make a bribe. 78 gold, and I'll get a claim over here on that sheikdom of Famagusta. I'll take it. Now I could use more money. Get a claim over here. There are people I could ransom off, and I think that would be a very sound idea. We don't need to hold on to them. Yeah, let's do it. 50 gold there, 50 gold over here. Perfect. Now, I'm also trying to get hooks on other people in order to have them pay me off to get rid of those hooks. I could actually get money from my son. Demand payment. I've got a hook on him, but instead I want money. Everyone else is either too far away, or I can't demand money from my own children. That would be weird. But look at that. 50 more gold. Now that I'm trying to focus on money, I'm earning so much of it. Thank you for that. That's a good start. Even more money again. I'm at 273 currently. So we just need to wait for my plots to pan out. It's over here now. So your son, dear old Count, has been very forthcoming. All right. Here's one familiar weakness. Now I'm trying to get a claim over here. That's going to take a little bit of time. I am getting old. I do understand that. But I only have one son. Provided he does not die, and I don't believe he shall, then he's going to get every single title. He'll be okay. Now, I'm going to stage another attack on a duke nearby. He's right over here to the west. He's very young, too. And I would like to, well, maybe make some money or something. I don't like the idea of spending money to really come out with nothing at all, so I'll wait. I'll wait and see if I can get like a free way to get a hook on him. That would be even better. Yeah, let's come back over here. Go work on a bit of development. Three years to go. Which is really not too bad. I mean, it's all thanks to being the major spy master around us all. I mean, look at that. We've got power and lands all around. Wallachia. Oh, you're around. King Dana Wallachia. A twin, too. Huh. Then over here, we've got a king of Bulgaria. Oh, my God. You two are very young. What is going on around here? Bulgaria is in a lot of trouble. West Francia? You're doing well. King Louis is only 48. What now? She's stubborn. Yeah. Let her be stubborn. I'm not here to get stressed out. She's a daughter. Oh, have a look at Iberia. Valencia is over here. We've got a lot of major factions. They're all divided up. Oh, and we've got a dead count, which means you, young man, you get to roll in his stead. So, I'm going to get a hook on you instead. That's what I want to do. I'm going to keep on making money. Currently, I'm at 293, which is incredibly high, so I could really invest on in what we have down over here. Yeah, let's build something new for my city. It's got to be something that might help out with my overall development. And if not, then... Why not get some more soldiers, too? Yeah, point two is not too bad. We'll come right over here. Pastoral lands. It's only point two. Hill farms would give me point three. Hmm. That really is not a lot more, so I'll take the levies as well. And done. All right, that'll work out. I'm at 143. I could save up and build something new. By the time I'm done, we're going to have an incredible capital. As long as I don't lose it, <laughs> we're going to be okay. Charting lands. My steward, Baron David, is proposing a quest that he claims would benefit the duchy. He thinks I should travel with my retinue to chart the territories of Count Tiberios. I would get to know my realm better, and David believes I would earn a deeper understanding of my vassal. If I do that, I could gain a lifestyle perk. 
which to me sounds great. I'm not going to develop anything but my capital for now. But we do have a special duchy building over here, so I'll look at that later too. What now? By halting a messenger from the court of the duke, an opportunity has presented itself. Interesting. Oh, I would lose some opinion, but I would gain a very weak hook on him. I'll take it. It's free. Now, we'll come over here and have a look. What about money? I would like some money. 50 gold total. It's gone now. Let them be angry at me because I just made 50 gold for very little. I mean, that is a lot of money. I'm making five per month and I just got five gold. Or sorry, 50 gold. So now, if I have like nothing over here to build up, I could work on a different area. But let's continue to work on what we have here. All right. Monasteries would be decent for control and piety. Let's do that, I think, right after we look at our special duchy building right over here in Tarsus. Oh, these are not cheap at all. Now, that would give me more knights and even make them more effective. I like that idea a lot. I like the idea of my knights, my Hitarii becoming even more powerful. I mean, if you look at it, you've got so many tools here that could benefit you. Like here's a leisure palace. I've got royal preserves for 0.8, more development too, more popular opinion. So I've got a lot of decent options. But again, the idea of having more knights and having them provide a bit more power in combat would only help me out. So we'll see in time. I'm at over 200 gold right now. I'm just waiting for a certain claim right over here, especially before I go after nearby fellow. Yeah, if I go after him, though, I don't want to fight all of their soldiers. I've got allies, but again, he's got a lot, too. I just need to wait until he's way too busy to really be concerned with me. I mean, I am bordering someone who's rather powerful. And we do need more land, don't we? It's all thanks to me that we even have Antioch. You are quite welcome, my faith. Let's have a look over here real quick. Holy sights. Yep, we've got two. So our knights are better. We get more martial per level of devotion. And over here, because we do have Constantinople, we get plus five to direct vassal opinion. Now, Jerusalem would be amazing. Plus 20% to monthly piety. Rome would be good too. And Alexandria. These are all my goals. It's going to be interesting to try to work things out. But I think we can. As we pass into Count Tiberius's lands, we are met by a Hetarii and his entourage. Count Tiberius bids you welcome, my duke. You are more than welcome to stay in these lands for as long as you require. I hope to learn much. And we'll continue to move on. Because right now, I just have a few plots that are currently working themselves out. We camp one night by the side of a lake. My subjects wake refreshed to the singing of birds and gentle mist over the waters. Ah, good. Now, I'm not nearly as stressed out. I'm currently 54. I'm getting a bit older and I would like to enjoy my family and life. Look at that. My daughter is 14. Pretty soon, she'll be married to the child of a duke. Huh. Let's have a look over here. You've got two daughters and only one son. Now, that's really good. Back over here to charting lands. Weeks on the road can make any man tired. It is, therefore, a blessing when we finally come across an inn that seems like it might house luxuries, such as a real bed. It might even have housing for animals larger than rats. If I pay for it, what do we get for five years? Plus two to stewardship. Or I could gain 150 prestige. I'll take my prestige. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. I gained a level of fame. Nice. Now I'm currently distinguished. Cool. Hills and valleys, plains and lakes, highways and forest paths. I have seen it all in his realm. And my cartographers have been eagerly making notes and coal sketches of every new site. Huh. That's really cool. Give me my perk. So now I have a new perk. That's really nice. All right. So whenever I'm stressed, I get more money. That's really interesting. I don't want all of these over here. That would help me get more money. That would be cheaper buildings. I do like the idea of getting cheaper buildings. I don't want to fight against my own emperor. That just feels wrong. So I'll come over here. Cutting cornerstones. 5% cheaper, but I'm building so much, it just feels right. Especially because I'm only able to make so much money. But if I continue to get more hooks on people, then it'll work out just fine. In fact, I want another hook. Who's it going to be on? You? Yeah, it could be you. Oh, he'll be an easy one. Look at that intrigue level. Only two. So his intrigue is very, very low. I'll continue to make my enemies. No, they don't know it's me, so they don't really care that much. 
My friend over here is 47. He's actually had a rather stable rule. We've gotten some new lands. Here and there. Not everywhere, but here and there. And he's not died, so that's really good. He's a very good commander. He's very good at fighting as well. He's called the Foolish. Really? <laughs> what did he do? I have no idea. Oh, so you're going to marry the daughter of a king. That's fascinating. A very powerful king at that. Yeah, here's your father over here. 2,200 men. All right, Helgi. Helgi's still alive. He's only 34, so he's very young. It's crazy how that path went down a completely different route. So he had one daughter. I see. She's alive, too. Huh. I just want to check up on them. All right, so pretty soon we're going to build some new buildings, and we'll see where that gets me. In order for me to get any duchy buildings over here, we need some more innovation, so I can't do that right now. Instead, I'm going to focus on making more money, which means more farms and fields. If I focus on all of that early on, we're going to benefit so very much in a very short span of time. I'm trying to get one more claim over here. It shouldn't take too long. Most of my council is pretty darn good. Oh, you're a decent diplomat, but you don't have any type of title in my lands. Nikolaus does. And I think he'll be okay. He's a very good fighter, so I don't want to anger him too much. I am a spy master for the Byzantine Empire. I should probably do something befitting of a spy master. It's over here. Almutaz, you're currently ill, so I'm going to go after your heir. There we go. We've got a very high chance to kill him, so I'll try that out. In fact, hold on. Instead of getting another hook scheme going on, why don't we kill another heir? If I could get rid of his family, that would destabilize potentially the entire realm. Let's have a look over here again. Can I kill you? I could. Oh, people hate him. Oh, the two princes want him dead. Your brothers want you dead. I can't believe that. Okay, we'll try to kill him too. He's losing three wars currently. He's only barely winning one. He's in debt. His piety is non-existent. Oh, my friend, you are having a very bad time today. All right. We are about ready to move on. There's also another person that I'm going to kill eventually. The Duke over here is rather old. He's going to die no matter what. He's 64 and he's been wounded. His heir is a grandson that I did not know existed. I'm going to kill him eventually. Yeah. I think killing him would be a good idea. That way, our next ruler for that duchy would be the child who's going to marry into my family through a matrilineal marriage, meaning that it's going to be my dynasty on that title later. That's what I want. I want to ensure that we have our family spread all throughout these lands eventually. What now? Oh, she's trying to hit on me. Look at that. Look over here. That's my daughter-in-law, right? Yeah. She's making some choices right now. Some really bad choices. I could use more grandchildren. That's true. I'm not going to try to marry off my grandchildren just yet. I'm going to wait and see how things are going to pan out. All right, so you've only got 31 gold. I want 50 gold for that hook, buddy. I want more gold than what you have. What now? Right. I could put you away, couldn't I? I think I shall, for fun. No, I don't have a high chance to do so, so I'm going to leave it alone for the time being. I'll just leave it alone. I'm not going to create any duchy. I do have the money, but I don't want two titles like that. Not right now. Maybe later, I'll build another one. For now, I'm just trying to focus on earning more money. So al Mutaz just won one war. Well, good for him. Very good for you, buddy. We're going up to four speed currently. So now you're only fighting one war. What about the Byzantine Empire as a whole? Yeah, they've got two allies right now. Two major allies. And my daughter-in-law is following me. You know what? I'll give you one night. We had a previous night. It was by accident. But we'll have one more. There. We're done now. If she could provide another grandchild to me. I mean, it would be my child. But, you know, another grandchild to me officially. That would be great. Let's zoom out real quick and have a look around here. So Sweden, King Bjorn is still alive. That's really interesting. In Denmark, we've got Eriksson. He's only 54. Okay. And Alba, you're doing just fine. 2,300 men is a lot. Brittany is somehow independent. <laughs> Good for them. Oh, look, she's pregnant. 
I might never know. Nor do I want to know. I never want to know what happened that night, okay? What now? Yeah, I am trying to get a claim. Shoot. That'll take a minute. I was discovered, but it's okay. He's my friend. He'll forgive me. All shall be fine in time. Yeah, your son over there is going to marry my daughter. And here we go. Uninvited. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider. Now it's going into Al Mutaz's bed before dark. He's dead now. It's over. Wait. He's still alive? Really? It killed his lover instead. <sighs> All right. I need a new murder scheme. That should make him sad, though. So, good, maybe? <laughs> no, it was only his lover, not his wife. In fact, his wife should like me more if she knew, but she's an imbecile. I can't believe you married her. You're an idiot. All right, what's over here? So, it looks like my daughter's of age, and those two can get married now. Good. Yeah, get married. Do that. I've got 161 gold, so I've got more gold to spend right now if I want to make more money. And I do want to make more money. Let's come over here and build something else. We've got a lot of decent stuff that we can work on. Alright, Prince. I'm going to have you killed as well. I've got thugs here ready to beat you to death. Try it out. The thugs did their job. He is no more. Ha! <laughs> Very nice. No one knows I did it. So he's dead. That's very, very good. All right, so over here, more farms and fields, another 0.5 gold. No matter what, I want to keep my entire duchy. That needs to belong to me directly, not my vassals. So, let's have a look over here. You have another heir. I should kill you too. I've got a very high chance to kill him as well. Things are not stable in their lands, as you can see. Trying to go after every single leader is not possible, but these guys, I mean, they're in high demand positions right now. You've got 41 gold, I want 50 gold. All right, what's over here now? What well, look, my agents have discovered a way into the study where he likes to keep his drafted letters. Oh, nice. I'll take that. More scheme power. <laughs> I didn't need more scheme power, but we have it now, so we could potentially kill him too. My development is about to go up. Let's have a look over here real quick. No, no, no. Not that. My council. So right over here, we've got two days until we have our claim, then we can go to war. You're going to marry my daughter, which is quite nice. I can't wait for that. She's going to be of age in a few years. 78 gold. I'm in debt currently. I'll need to wait to get out of debt, but that's fine because it won't take me very long because I'm making so much money. My taxes are amazing. What's over here? A strong hook. Ah, the patriarch. His patriarch. That would be nice, but I don't need that right now. Very well. Instead, why don't you come back over here and support my plots? That would be better. The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Al Mutaz is brought to me. Make him spend a bit of prestige for fun. Yeah, do that. And over here now. Let's see, there's a way in. I spend 50 gold... Or Mansoor would lose 10 opinion of me. Ah, so be it. I don't really care. I don't need to lose more money right now, as I do have a war to fight. And I get a new perk. All right, what am I going to take over here? Professional workforce. Ooh, faster to build buildings. I like that. Instead, why don't we look around? I've got my schemer. That's really good. There's diplomacy. I could get groomed to rule. Children would get more skill points. I like that idea a lot, too. Yeah, that would be really good. I'm going to come over here real quick and work on getting more prestige. Perfect. But I still need something over here. All right. I think for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up War Profiteer, or actually, more Vassal Tax Contribution. Plus 10%. We'll try that out. That'll be fine. I've got 1.1 from Vassal Taxes, Church Holdings 1.1 as well. And Al Mutaz is going to be killed by his own subjects. What a great beginning. He's gone. All gone. All right, so let's have a look around here. You've got another heir, and you're currently ruling. Let's see what we can do against the rest of them. I've got one plot currently going on. He leads, he's only 29. He's not very popular. We've got four agents. Ooh, one Sheik, one Emir. 
That's plenty. What now? Petronia slipped and bumped into me. No one was hurt, nor did anyone fall down. Huh. Yeah, it's fine. That really was not a big deal. It was just a simple accident. All right. It's about time for us to go to war, but let's take one moment to just really prepare for that. We have a look right now. I have a feeling these lands over to the east are going to have a very tough time, especially if I continue to go after their leaders. I don't have as high of a chance to go after him, but if I could kill that prince too, if I take out the majority of this family, these lands might be torn into chaos. They just might be thrown completely into a state of disarray that would only benefit us to the west, especially if we want to move over there. Looks like we're getting some lands over to the west as well. That's nice. Not bad. Bulgaria is around, but they have a very young king who somehow is not dead. I can't believe that. That's pretty wild. No one is going to help him. It's finally time to go to war. We don't need a lot of men, but I'll take them all anyway. I've got seven champions total. And we're now ready to move on. Let's land right over here. Oh, really? I'll lose some money? That's okay. I can take care of it. I'll earn some more money as we go along. Ah, look at that. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider. Put it into his room. Kill him too. Great. And he's dead as well. What I just did is really good. It's going to really change a lot. And by the way, give me 50 gold. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a great way to make a recurring amount of money. So we're going in. And I've got all the money I need in order to wage my war. Alright, off we go. They've got 250 men. I've got my decent commander. His martial skill is 21. I've got all my champions too. Look at all that high level prowess. For me, that's really good. Oh, the old man finally died of his wounds. He didn't last a very long time. Don't worry, I'll kill your grandchild one day. Let's have a look over here. The Battle of Limassol. It's a fairly large fight, but we're going to win no matter what. Okay, let's see. Written in the stars. A bad omen for him. I don't have a very high chance to kill him, so I think we're going to leave it alone for now. Yeah, let's leave it alone. He's going to be the new leader for a period of time. Getting to him is going to be much harder. Instead, I'll go after another duke, and I'll have him killed. Yeah, that'll work out. I would love to get a little hook on you, lady. If anything, I could wait to kill him until I get a hook on her. Then I could go after him. That would be a bit safer, I suppose. I don't want people to find out. My chance to complete my job is very high, but I want it over at 95% instead. So we'll wait. I'll go after him later. Anyone who gets a duchy over there needs to be of my line. Not theirs. And we're done. We easily won that battle. That was really good. It took a while, but we had our first battle. Now we just need to complete it all. I'm getting old now. I'm currently 56. I probably have like a good 5 to 10 years left before I die. I'm going to focus a bit on what I'm currently pushing on. And, oh, look at that. Another battle. My grandson, Leon, has been impressed with one of the household Hitarii for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. Oh, he's diligent. Good. I love that. That was a very wholesome event. <laughs> and we have won. Look at what I have over here. I could ransom you for 50 gold. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because no matter what, I'm going to take what you have here. So give me some money. All right. Perfect. I mean, they lost. It might take a bit longer, but I would let them go if I were to win the war. So I would rather... Get the money now. I'm now back at 109 gold. That gave me 18 fame. We only lost 16. They lost 171. My champions killed 27. Over here, I lost 80. They lost 77, 15 fame. My champions killed 41. Good. That's a pretty good beginning. Let's end it now. It won't take too long. And what's over here? Her mother, such as Anastasia, has been unusually forthcoming. Oh, interesting. You hate your child. All right, I'll take that. <laughs> These people need to work on their personal lives. They are having a rough time, I think. Okay, my spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Alright. More vigilant, more intrigue, more scheme resistance. I'll take it. 
now the war is over, it's about time to take what I want. Done. Look at that. I now have half a Cypress, which is really good. I want everyone to go home. And I wonder, how difficult would it be to go after you? I've got claims on your land, but it looks like the lands over to the east are a little bit more united than usual. We'll see in time, though. I don't believe they'll be together forever. You've got your own heir. He's only 11. You're currently 43. I could go after him, sure. Oh, there's a very high chance to kill him, so I'll do that. Absolutely. I've got to ensure that I get rid of them. I want to, if I can, extinguish their bloodline. That would be incredible. They have many children. But I could kill them all. Now, that gives me a new domain, a new location that belongs to me. I could give it to Leon. He's going to be married quite soon. Yeah, give it like five more years or whatever, and he'll be married. But I could bring him back and give him a title. I haven't really decided yet. All right, but I do have my new bit of land, and I could change up your title. Or not your title, but your contract. Let's see, I don't want to anger you. I'm fine with what we have right now. Yeah, just keep what you have currently. It's completely fine. Demand payments. 50 gold again. I'll take that. And over here, 50 gold again. I mean, that is such a strong way to make a lot of money. So now, if I want to, and I do want to, I could have another building. Another lovely building to benefit me directly. I'm going to keep it in my capital, I think. Yeah, let's see that real quick. I could use even more soldiers. 100 levies. I mean, that's very powerful. Plus 2. Not 2. Point 0.2 to my monthly tax. My several lands wouldn't be too bad either. Defender advantage would go up. That's fine. Garrison will go up by 150. Yeah, we'll get walls and towers. I want to keep it safe around us. But I think for now, we're done. And we've got to really consider what we want to do next. All I've done for now is really set up my next plays for power. My son needs to ensure that he has many children and also just many abilities to stabilize the realm after I'm gone. If you look at it, he's a great commander. He'll probably fight more than I am. I'm all about intrigue. I'm all about subterfuge. And I'm getting older, so I won't be here forever. He'll be a bit older by the time he takes command, but that's okay too. I've got 1,100 men. And again, my current goal is to just really slowly push in my children into various courts around here. So I'm going to try to get even more hooks on people, and I'm going to force more marriages that are going to benefit my daughters. If I could get my children into every single court, that would truly be incredible. I might try to do it over here. Here's another prince. Two princes would be a really good way to really cover my bases. So I do like that idea quite a bit. Yeah, I think that would be pretty darn good. He's got so many claims too, so another type of like matrilineal marriage would only benefit me a lot. And Cyprus is what I want, so I need to get rid of him. I wonder what happens if I get rid of all of your heirs. I guess we'll find out in time. But my council, my senate, do let me know what you think I should do next, and I do hope that you did enjoy this part, and as always, until then.